So now that we know what it takes to make it into punk let's meet our first big hitter at number 20. Houston, Texas, where Aikido master Koichi Kashiwea is attempting to snap this bamboo without tearing the paper that holds it up. This has got to be fake. The bamboo breaks, but the paper doesn't? Surely the paper should break first. What's the trick to this? Ouch. I don't think he did it. We've come to Seattle to meet Master Koichi to find out if he really is punking us. But some people for sure criticize oh, what that, that's fake or the way the previous event or no trick. The trick is mind body coordination really. Yeah. I still don't know physically how it works exactly. That's maybe scientists can figure it out. <laughs> yes, scientists, figure it out. Is this for real? If the bamboo were resting on solid supports like bricks, when it was struck, the center would be forced down, but the ends wouldn't be able to move, so it would break. But the supports that he uses are far from solid. They're just thin strips of paper. So this means that the center of the bamboo can't be forced down without ripping the paper. And then put this one in the bamboo, and then knife, the edge of knife is upward, so this would tear. If any kind of pressure go here, the paper would break, like that. This is where the real skill comes in. He has to hit that bit of bamboo so fast that it starts to snap before it's had time to move enough to rip the paper. Okay, and so paper didn't break here, but bamboo is in like this now. <laughs> the bamboo breaks almost instantaneously. And what happens is that each piece of bamboo starts to rotate about a point halfway from the center to the end. Each half does continue to fall, but now it's also rotating. The end at the paper rotates up, while the end near the sword rotates downward. And in this way, the end by the paper rotates upward faster than the piece of bamboo is falling downward. Each outer end actually lifts up off the piece of paper and doesn't rip it. This is 100% real. This sensei doesn't have superpowers. He's just a samurai of science.